I'm Charlie Bright of Gold Derby, and I am speaking with Arnaud valls colomer uh, the cinematographer for the uh, upcoming Amazon Prime uh, show, The English, as part of our TV cinematographers panel uh, for Meet the Experts. Uh, first thing I want to ask is, um, you know, you get to, you know, shoot in these incredible scenic landscapes of, you know, that are that are to be the American West. And what was the most exciting thing about getting to shoot a Western with these incredible, incredible scenic features? Well, first when I read the script, I was like, where are we shooting that? And then they called, they told me, well, we're shooting that in Spain, where you live. And I was like, whoa, how are we going to do that? Because I live in Spain and this doesn't look any like it's described on the script. And the director was, no, no, I've been there and I've seen like some locations and we'll make it work. And, and I was really skeptical. I mean, I've seen like all the classic Westerns shot in Spain and but the most famous ones were like shot down south in La Maria and like the spaghetti westerns. But this was like more of like a lot of green and a lot of mountains and a lot of like a different, like more of a yeah Midwest landscape, not, not only desert landscape. And they took me to part of Spain that I, 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 I didn't know that they existed basically. And all those like, uh, all those Castillas and Castilla La Mancha and Castilla Leon. And we basically did this travel that goes from Louisiana to Nebraska in the story between South Madrid to North Madrid. <laughs> and and going from the South uh, yellowish uh, flat part of La Mancha to the most like uh, mountain rocky, green parts of Avila and make that work and basically uh, and basically then was like finding the frames and finding the light and raising some wind trills in the background and and that's it it worked much better the landscape than I thought it would be initially honestly if I wasn't like I'm and I lived in the states so I knew like how the how the real Midwest is and I was like really are we doing this in Spain I was like I don't know but it, it up, I think it ended up working. <laughs> well, I mean, that, that actually brings up an interesting question. I mean, what was it like to discover this whole other part of your home country uh, that, you know, you had never, you, you, that you had never seen this type of environment before in your home country? What was that like? It's like, it's like, it's like always, like when you frame something in the, like, I never thought of like that part of the country, frame it for a Midwest Western. So I never thought of it. And when you actually do it, and then, and then you realize that it's actually with the, the areas that we're like shooting, it's, we're not the first ones. And they were actually shot a lot of Westerns there. Like a lot of like this kind of B Westerns were shot there and, and it works. And I never, it's just about like, I, I guess it's about framing it, framing it and bringing the scale with the with the lenses and the scope and the cinescope and the technicolor style and bringing the scale of it to the to a place and the composition and finding the right compositions was very it was a very surprising and interesting interesting thing to discover. Uh, so you know when you have a scene that takes place in the vastness of the West. Uh, or what's supposed to be the West. Um, what uh, did you uh, What did you do to better capture intimate moments between characters, specifically uh, the ones with uh, Emily and uh, Chasky? I mean, the basic rules of like the the Western or the we. I mean, we just were like following the rules of the cinematic uh, Western, like the looking backlight. Uh, finding the, the sunrise and the sunset at the at the end or the beginning of the scenes, and then working out during the day the the, the intimacy shot and the um, and the close ups and all this. And during the day was I mean the director was like the f was a very um, visual director, so f he was he was always like where we should look in the morning, where we should look in the evening, uh, position myself what's best for for the white shots and then um, let's do what, what we need to do for the close-ups. And then in the Westerns, there's the hat, there's the hat wall that at the beginning looks like um, a problem, but ends up like being the big solution for lighting because you are in the middle of the day and you are 
the, the face as the face is covered by a sh strong shadow that then you can work uh, the light inside the shadow depending on how you want and how you how you how you want to light it so it was like doing wide shots at the beginning and uh, at the end of the day and doing close-ups in the middle of it so um uh, did the natural environment uh in the areas that you were shooting for outdoor shots present any challenges to capturing the shots that you were trying to get yeah yeah like you're you're exposed to nature and you're exposed to everything and you have to you have to deal with this and you have to um, take advantage of it um at the end of the day it's tricky and you suffer and you're like struggling to to get continuity with the lighting and all this but honestly it gives us it gave us like a lot of things that we never expected and it worked out like giving us moments of like incredible um poetry and nature was like working itself for for our story and in the way like the wind or the strong moments of of nature that were like uh, struggling to fight with or to 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 try to keep shooting with uh, it ended up like being like i remember like the wind was a big problem for us sometimes like with the hair even with the hair of the emily blind and everything but when you see when i see it on the screen i see like I see more of the wilderness than I, 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 I think it's like it gives like another element of like you're in the middle of the wild and these things happen and it works out. And um, and then the vastness, it's tricky, for example, for the night scenes was like very tricky to work like how we work in this middle of the plane, how far the light can go. And then we did the mixture of like shooting in natural locations and then bringing some big night scenes to studio and creating like um recreating the um, the floor like the desert floor and then using blue screens in the back and shooting day for night for the blue screen so trying to replicate like the moonlight that's impossible to replicate in a real night exterior and trying to do with this a mixture of techniques of shooting in, in the studio and shooting uh, plates of day for night uh, for vfx compositions so uh, were there any shots of the series that you found particularly uh, challenging to shoot and to capture? The fire effects, the night, the night effects and the fire effects were like um, tricky for me. Like, okay, how we do that? Because there is a whole story in the, in the, in the series that is related to the stars. So there are like lots of moments that are, they are like basically in the middle of the plain desert. Um, two characters with a little fire effect maybe next to them or just the candle next to them and looking at the stars and talking about the stars and uh, and uh, and there's a and there's like it's a poetic moment and it's a, a deep a deep deep thoughts moment so like capturing this in was like okay like let's make sure that we make the right decisions to capture this and don't and to make it like poetic and fantastic and not super realistic, but at the same time, believable and, and yeah, something that don't, do not distract, do not, uh, do not make it too much of a Disney movie, like, too, like make it like very realistic. So um, uh, what, I, I'm also just curious as to uh, uh, what, were there any? Because uh, I know you said that you found this new area of Spain that you didn't that you didn't know about. Uh, were, did, was there anything that you felt was in there that was lacking in terms of trying to make it look right to to, to represent uh, the American Midwest? At the beginning, yes. At the beginning, I was like, ah, I don't know. I was not sure. I was like, but as as we start doing it, and. I was like, conf I was like, no, but this is gonna work. This looks like uh, this looks like our this looks like a western. And then when I'm seeing the results, I mean, I went to the premiere like last uh, two weeks ago in London with my wife, and she was like, "Are you? Sh I mean, this is what you shot like last summer in Spain. Are you sure that you're not lying? I mean, this is not BFX or I'm like no, no. It's like, and even with the skies, I mean, with the skies, we're like lucky to have like this." huge skies that you normally find in America that I was like sometimes okay here in Spain they're not so often but then we, we were like lucky enough to have them and capture them and and 
and I, I don't I don't miss I don't miss America on the show honestly. Well, um, uh, Arno, thank you so much for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you in just a little bit on our panel. Great, thank you, thank you so much, Charlie.